Elon Musk's visionary nature has brought SpaceX and Tesla both into form as breakers of all assumed barriers in technology by perfecting the electric car and making great progress in reusable rockets. Now, he may soon be making the next big stride, space billboards. This may sound absurd, but it may be coming in 2022. And we'll let you in on all the details, including what advertising in space will look like and how Elon plans to do it. But before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be reminded of new updates. Now, let's get right into it. Space commercialization has been a concept floated by industry experts and economists for quite some time. Ever since the acceleration of the development of space technology from the 2000s onwards, it's a concept that envisions the mass scale use of outer space for promotional, marketing, and revenue creating activities. Advertising is one example of space commercialization, and with current aerospace technological capabilities, the starting point for eventual normalization of corporate activities in space. To this end, Canada-based company Geometric Energy Corporation has been trying to convince SpaceX to begin work on an advertisement satellite project since at least early 2018. And it's been recently reported that an agreement has been reached between SpaceX and the GEC. The agreement was signed with a stated aim to bring space art to the moon. GEC is developing a compact orbiter they've termed the CubeSat that will be equipped with a pixelated screen for displaying advertisements, logos, and art. The CubeSat will be loaded onto a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, launched into orbit and then released to fulfill its space advertising destiny while the Falcon 9 continues its flight to the moon. A selfie stick connected to one side of the CubeSat will film the advertising display screen once it's in orbit, and the feed will then be live-streamed to the internet through sites like YouTube or Twitch. Samuel Reed, CEO of GEC, who was formerly a teacher of Musk's children at S. Musk's Ad Astra School, has assured critics that this type of space advertising will not be viewable from Earth without the aid of technology, and that it is not intended to be obtrusive or distracting to anyone from the Earth's surface. The simple plan is to stream data from space of a display screen. The opportunity for advertising on CubeSat won't be limited just to SpaceX or any of their business partners. Instead, advertising on a CubeSat will be open to the highest bidder. The idea is that people will purchase tokens through cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum and also likely Dogecoin, given Elon Musk's affinity for the dog-themed coin, and bid on advertising space they can claim, locate, and design what they're calling a pixel for display on CubeSat's display screen. It's safe to assume that there will be many who want to become the first cosmic promoters in history. Initial reports also indicate that there will be a separate team set up to carefully analyze and process the proposed advertised content as due to the open nature of the bidding process, GEC and SpaceX want to ensure that inappropriate advertisements are screened prior to posting. It remains to be seen what the bidding costs will look like as current billboard advertisements in a major city sets companies back an average of $923,000 to have it up for a month. Geometric Energy Corporation's CEO, Samuel Reed, has stated they want to take a democratic approach to advertisement. 
As part of this, the space advertisement sales consist of selling pixel space. There will be five different tokens to bid for, corresponding to specifications named after Greek letters. These are Gamma, which will determine the brightness of the display, Kappa, which will determine colors, Beta, which determines the X coordinate, Rho, which determines the Y coordinate, and Psi, which determines your advertisement running time. We can expect to see extremely competitive bidding and should not be surprised at all if the bid figures push into the tens of millions of dollars. The first CubeSat space billboard is expected to launch next year. This is especially ambitious since the engineers at Geometric Energy Corporation are still working on a quantum communication system that will make billboard advertising possible with data beamed up from Earth. SpaceX, however, is well positioned to take this step, as they can already handle small payloads without much trouble at all. There are many critics and skeptics of this proposed space advertising venture, with concerns mostly centered around ethics, light pollution, and space debris. The world is already dealing with issues posed by space debris with bits and pieces of old satellites falling from and floating in space. This debris often causes damage to satellites and some even fall to the Earth. Starlink, another one of SpaceX's ventures, will have at least 10,000 satellites orbiting in space and experts assert that a dense ring of space debris may soon be formed around Earth. There is also an ethical concern tied to commercializing yet another natural space of existence for monetary gain. What would a floating advertisement in space really look like? Would it be tasteful? Samuel Reed, CEO of GEC, has tweeted that pixel art in space would not even cause light pollution to nearby UFOs, and that the pixel art won't even be viewable in space or on the ground. These are important questions to consider, and we can expect many people to take outright offense to this initiative. What do you think of this initiative by Elon Musk and GEC? Do you agree with its critics in regards to ethics, light pollution, and space debris? Or do you think it will lead us to a more enlightened future? Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you guys in the next one.